Welcome to my channel, 100 Pounds of Gratitude. I'm Rachel and I am gaining gratitude, losing weight, and building a life I love. Happy Monday, friends. I hope each of you had an amazing Labor Day weekend. I'm super excited because it is finally September. I love this time of the year when the weather is cooling down, all the pumpkin stuff is coming out, all the fall stuff is coming out appropriately. And I don't know what it is about the passage of Labor Day, but there's something about that that marks the start of something new and something exciting. I feel like Labor Day is kind of like the New Year's Eve of the fall. So it's really the perfect time to take a moment and to rethink those resolutions that maybe you started back in January that fell by the wayside or to start something completely new that serves you well on your health or your weight loss journey. So that is what I'm going to be doing. We've got eight holiday free weeks between Labor Day and Halloween. Let's make the best of them. Summer is over. We've had time to re-energize ourselves and that makes September the perfect time to lose weight or establish these healthy habits. But before we jump into action, first we need to establish our why. When motivation starts to flag, this why will carry you on through so that you continue to make action steps to help you reach your health goals. Recently, I've found that I'm slipping back into some old habits like snacking right before bed or not exercising for several days. I don't wanna call these bad habits, but these are definitely habits that are not serving me well and they are causing me to feel bad physically. Back in January, I made a commitment to make myself a priority and I've been consistently making an effort to do this up until recently. I think with school being back in full swing and all of my kids' activities, I've fallen back into the habit of putting myself last on the to-do list and then at the end of the day, I am just worn out but instead of going to bed I have started to snack on chips or sweets and watch a show at the end of the day to unwind and then I'm not wanting to get up early and hit all my goals to help improve my health but thankfully I'm recognizing my old way sneaking back in and I think that September is going to be the perfect month to make some changes and recommit to my health goals without feeling like I'm missing out on any of the fun. So this morning as I'm walking, I'm asking myself a few questions. What does it mean to be healthy? How can I become my definition of healthy? What is my action plan for achieving these goals? And how will I manage temptation over the next eight weeks? So with all the buzz about diet culture and whatnot, it's really got me thinking about being healthy and what that means to me. Because while it is great to look great and look cute in your clothes, that is definitely not what I'm going for. Um, for me, it is being able to move without pain, being able to walk for at least an hour without feeling like I need to sit down or go home or take a rest. I'm wanting to have higher levels of energy so I don't have to take naps. Basically, I want to be able to live life, pick up toys, go on outings with my kids, ride bikes, play tag, do all those things without my body becoming an obstacle to experiencing life in the way that I want to experience it and to do it without physical pain all the time. I feel like I have bouts of physical pain that I would not experience if I wasn't carrying so much excess weight. So I'm curious, how do y'all define healthy? What does good health look like for you? I guess, what is your why? So after I took the time to reflect on my why again, I went back and looked over some of my goals from the last 9 to 11 months and recommitted to some of those. I think I just need a refresher. I think that I've become really comfortable with what I've been doing and that's why I am not seeing any progress. I think in order to have growth I need to have a little bit of discomfort and so I've come up with 10 goals that I'm going to be working on over the next 4 to 8 weeks. So here's my action plan. 
I want to try to do cardio 45 minutes, six days a week. I want to do my at-home workout program following the instructions for that program and I'm going back to the 21 day fix workout. And then I want to get back to being really intentional about my nightly fasting 12 to 14 hours. I usually start fasting 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 a.m. I want to make that a habit again. Drinking my water, around 100 ounces of water. Trying to increase my vegetables to the point where I am eating a vegetable in every single meal. Making sleep a priority where I'm getting eight hours of sleep a night. Making sure I'm doing reflection. And I really feel like doing these YouTube videos is helping me reflect on my goals and helping me to stay accountable. And then I want to make sure I'm taking my vitamins that I'm trying out right now and that I am being intentional when I choose to have a dessert and that I put it on a plate and I make that choice and I only have a dessert once a week or less. And lastly, I want to work toward getting back into that 205 to 210 weight range. So those are my 10 goals for the next four to eight weeks and I'm committing to them. I'm going to print them out, have them where I can see them every day so that I can stay very intentional. I would love to know what your goals are going to be for the month of September. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you are thinking you want to do over the next four to eight weeks. I don't know about y'all, but sometimes the easiest part for me in weight loss is just making the goals but keeping the goals is not always easy for me. I think primarily because life is busy and we always have a million choices to make and so it's really easy to be distracted from your primary goals. So I have decided that in order to achieve my goals I need to really think of practical ways of how they will fit into my lifestyle on a daily basis. Here is my action plan that I have come up with. I'm going to strive to be in bed around 9 p.m. so that I can get up by 5 a.m. I want to work out in the morning before the day gets away from me. I really don't think there's a great time to work out. One is better than the other, but I think for my lifestyle, getting it done in the morning means that I'm more likely to get it done. And then I'm going to strive to get my menu planned on Thursday, do my grocery pickup on Friday, and my meal prep on Saturday with one new recipe for week. I've been a little too ambitious in the past where I've picked two or three new recipes to do for that week and it's just too much and I get discouraged and I don't get it done. So I want to minimize that and stick to one new recipe a week. And now for my temptation plan. I've come up with four things that I know I struggle with and so I went ahead and wrote these things down so that I am ready when these temptations come my way. First of all, I'm going to strive to not buy foods that trigger me to overindulge. I found that if I don't keep those things in the house and I make it a little bit more complicated to get to those things, either I have to make the dessert myself or I have to go out of the house and buy it, I tend to just go without and then I want to make sure that I can eat desserts if I want to eat a dessert but I do want to put a boundary in place to say one dessert a week is a great amount and I want to make sure that I'm really really intentional about sitting down and eating it mindfully thirdly I want to make sure at the end of the day I don't snack so when I'm feeling that urge to snack at the end of the day that I recognize that I'm really just tired and so I want to encourage myself to just go to bed and get some rest. And then lastly, I want to remind myself, don't feel guilty if you have to leave the house to exercise or leave the house to achieve one of my other health goals. Giving myself time to tend to my health is a good thing and really it's going to bless not only me, but it's going to bless my family as well. And for some reason, this mindset is really, really hard for me. It's like it hasn't anchored fully down into my belief system. So I really, really want to strive to work on not feeling guilty when I make myself a priority. So that's it. I've defined what healthy means to me. I have re-established my why. I've created my goals, my action plan, and my temptation plan. So I am hoping that September through October truly is a great time to recommit 
myself to this healthy lifestyle that I'm trying to create and lose some more of this weight. So what do y'all think? Do you think that Labor Day is kind of like the New Year's Eve of the fall? I definitely think it is. I think it's a great time to recommit to your goals or establish healthy habits before the holidays begin. Be sure to like my video and leave me a comment and let me know what healthy habits you are going to work on over the next four to eight weeks. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Thank you.